Picking up a scroll in Cyril and running with it can be a lot of fun, but there are a few important considerations you should make before picking it up. If you have grabbed the scroll, and are not in a group, ask in the zone to be invited to one. Most will be happy to bring you in to ensure the safe journey of the scroll. You should also consider your timing and how much opposition you are likely to face. You may need to be able to take a good few hits running through opponents. If so, then a player in light armor with no shields is not the best option. If you need to outrun opponents, a player in all heavy armor with low stamina regeneration is also not a great choice. The scroll carrier should have a good balance of run speed and survivability. My build fits this bill. If you are part of an organized group like our guild, make sure you are in discord chat with your teammates. Being able to make and hear calls about the scroll carrier being threatened, or where opponents are coming from is very important. If the path you take leads through choke points, like gates, or areas in which opponents can bomb you, ensure that you have people riding ahead to watch and let you know if it's safe. The trick is not to get too far ahead of the group if you're fast, and not to fall behind if you are slow. Scroll quests need to be turned in before you pick up another scroll. Therefore you'll not be able to turn in your quest before capping the one you already have. Scroll carriers will usually announce that they are capping, and give people a minute to ensure that they have the right quest. This is why there is a delay in placing the scroll on its pedestal. Some classes with certain builds can move at full speed all the time, such as high magicka regeneration nightblades with concealed weapon and dark cloak, or very high stamina regeneration sprint cost reduction builds. If you are not one of these, you may be tempted to burn all of your stamina running, though make sure you have enough to block or roll if need be. Other people should provide you with the rapid maneuvers buff so that you can use your stamina more efficiently. My nifty little scroll runner is not the fastest runner I can build for Cyrodiil, however it is the cheapest and pretty easy to make. I never designed it to run alone, but wow, it sure can move. My guy is a Red Guard Nightblade, but if you have an Orc, or Kaji they're good runners too. I chose all medium armor and honestly, medium works well enough for what you want in Cyrodiil. The idea is, that you wear your normal fighting gear on your way to the scroll and swap to the running gear when you pick it up. If you have the Bandit UI add-on, or similar then you just assign the outfit to a keybind and use it as needed. I use the Steed Mundus Stone because of the permanent 10% speed buff. You will need 5 pieces of coward's gear, a helm, shoulders and jewelry. You can buy this in guild stores, purple is fine, gold is a little bit better. It is a battlegrounds drop, but hey if you got the time and patience, then go for it. Coward's gear gives you an enormous stamina recovery that allows you to run all day and also a speed buff of 30%. If you couple this with 5 pieces of armor, in Dark Strider, you get additional stamina and stamina recovery as well as a 50% reduction in the cost of sprinting. You can buy this from guild stores, or search for it all over Rivenspire. Once again, yellow is best, but purple is suitable for just trying it out. For weapons, I use a dual wield set of daggers that I picked up from the Black Rose prison in Craylorn. Alternatively, you could use Coward's weapons and swap the helm and shoulders for a stamina recovery monster set if this is easier for you to obtain. The icing on the cake is your potion. The essence of speed, it increases speed by 30% and stamina recovery. Like I said, there are probably better builds but this one is fine for my scroll running and it is cheap and easy to make. Try it, I am sure you'll have fun zipping all over Cyrodiil.